Hey Pisces, welcome back to my channel. Thank you so much for being here. Um, welcome if you're new and hi if you're returning. It's so good to have you back. This channel is for anyone with a significant Pisces placement or anyone who just vibes with the Pisces energy. You're all welcome. These are timeless readings. As I'm recording this reading, there is literally, as I'm recording it, there is a full moon and the full moon eclipse is happening. So really strong energy is going on at this point in time. So I can't wait to see what these messages are and all of these cards are angel cards that wanted to come through today and starting with Quan Yang. So some real angelic guidance and um, uh, spiritual guidance coming through. So let's start with Quan Yang. We've got lost child. You may sometimes feel as though you have lost your way, but you are never lost to me. Connect to your heart and you shall find me there. I'm always watching over you. And we have got progress. With your every step, I'm empowered to take 10,000 steps. Your progress belongs to and benefits all beings. Take your journey knowing that I and all beings are with you. Okay. And charms, we have got here. We've got a cat all curled up. And we have got a red diamond okay uh the cat's interesting because i have literally just been um on the phone to a friend who has because i'm an animal communicator among other things um a friend who has a problem with a dog who's actually i've just tuned into him and he's being seeing spirit cats so there is there is an energy of guidance and support from the other side that is coming through in this. How the red diamond fits into this yet, I'm not entirely sure that one wants to come through to. Okay, source of life. Joy. And the eternal light of love. What beautiful energies. I'm feeling Pisces, what's coming through um, of the message that's starting to come through is a sense of becoming more and more and more connected to your, your very essence and the essence of life. I'm very drawn to... I'm very drawn to the energy that's coming out of each of these kind of uh, like card energy centers. Um, seeing the energy in nature in a in a more vibrant way, like instead of just seeing a bird, you're seeing a you're seeing the bird, and you're starting to see the energy. Um, instead of just seeing like um, heart centered energy, for example, you're actually seeing. You might be starting to read auras or see auras. It's like there's a person actually, yeah, holding up a sword of light with this huge guardian angel transmitting messages to you. And it's like you're allowing your thoughts to reach up, like swords represent thoughts. You're allowing your thoughts to reach up into the sky and actually start to harness the power of um, thought energy that's out in the world. I watched this video. I'm now reading a book by a guy called... Um, Oh, gosh, Dr. Ebden. Oh, goodness, I can't remember his surname now. That's awful. I'll put a link to his video down below. He had a near-death experience um, through meningitis and lost all the, the energy, like the brain, like every brain cell in his in his brain was infected by meningitis and he wasn't expected to live, let alone have any memory. And he recalled not only his experience um, as before he had his meningitis but he had a whole collection of experiences on the other side when he was in in, in a near-death state um and so there's the brain surgeons because he is a brain surgeon they're now starting to think that um thoughts are actually stored in like the clouds like they're stored in an environment that isn't um you know in our brain so i think as you become more and more tuned in to just how powerful your energy is but just how much energy is out there how much everything works in a, in a way of light as you become more tuned in 
you're starting to feel the joy. Oh my goodness, this is amazing. I have literally just had this animal communication session with my friend's dog who is struggling to go into cafes. He's just a little puppy and I'm he's seeing cats in spirit, but he's also seeing his owner with little crackles of light around her. So he is he's confused by what he sees because he's seeing light and energy, not just a human body as we see it. Um, and that's amazing. That's exactly what I was picturing from her was just kind of these crackles of energy that he sees. So when somebody becomes more and more tuned into um, mediumship or to reading energy, they actually start to take on a different sparkle and crackle themselves as well. Whereas his dad doesn't read energy, so his dad doesn't have that same kind of crackle. It's really fascinating. Um, so as you become more and more tuned into the joy and essence of life, you're becoming more aware of those rays of light coming from other people. And you're also becoming more and more aware of um, how you might be receiving information. The challenge with that, I've already had one of those. The challenge with that is that um, we become more disassociated with the normal human world. It's very difficult to put into context and words sometimes as we become more spiritually attuned or energetically attuned, because spiritual has a religious connotation attached to it as a word. But regardless of what your religious beliefs are, as you, as you become more energy attuned, like, so you're just like looking at the physical aspect of our world, but in an energetic way. Um, it, it, it's hard to translate that into everyday human talk to other people. Raise your vibration. You are raising your vibration. And this is what's going on. You're raising your vibration. The more you raise your vibration, you're making huge progress towards understanding yourself and understanding other people. <clears throat> but you also struggle with other uh, understanding others. Look how some of these cards are. It's your you're becoming you're becoming a very energy sensitive human. Listen deeply. You can hear like you can hear energy. Like you can hear. You can hear things that are unsaid. You can hear a lot of messages that are out in the universe that aren't coming from you. You're you're perhaps hearing guidance from um, uh, non-human energy beings like angels. Wow. Okay, so what have we got for Pisces? No, not that one. That one, though. No. And that one. Okay. We have got the Two of Swords, Breaking the Circle. Life Opposing Barriers Brings Victory. Okay. We have got the Knight of Cups, Perception and Revelation, Discovering a Secret Treasure. We have got the Queen of Pentacles, intellectual lucidity, provides consolation and composition. Com yeah, compensations, okay. We have got the Empress, wow. Fertility and fruitfulness assign assures peace between married couples. And we have got the Three of Cups, fame and renown influences commerce voices and great discoveries. Yet another set of incredible cards. So with the Two of Swords, there is a... In fact, I'm just going to read this holistically, okay? Um, what I'm getting from this is that, that this speaks again to almost like this separation of duality between the energetic world and the spiritual world. So we've got the Queen of Pentacles, which is quite a grounded energy. It's it's an energy um, that is down to earth, but also with the Queen energy nurturing. So there's a there's always a financial element that comes with the Queen of Pentacles. So there's perhaps something about you needing to nurture your finances, or your finances need to be nurtured um, by 
the duality energy. Um, because what I'm getting from this is that you're perhaps struggling somehow with how to use these gifts that are becoming more and more apparent to you that you have in a way that you're actually working with people who really understand it and appreciate that. Um, with this three of cups energy going on in here, finding happiness with the right friends, the right community, the right people who really, really get what you do. Um, that is helping you, helping other people to ground themselves into reality. I feel like there's a longing here. There's a longing for you with the Knight of Cups and the Three of Cups. I feel that there's a longing inside of you to just find people that can just really fit in. You can just fit in who really, really, really get what you're doing or get where you're at, who feel touched by this Empress energy, like this compassionate, grounded um, energy of wanting to help people feel good about themselves to help people experience joy but what perhaps what you're finding is that um you know so many people are almost stuck in the energy of like not 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 wanting joy or not knowing how to access joy so the default behavioral patterns that we have kind of going on at this point in time are um more about earthly matters and i think you're saying well look there's there's more joy to be had when you connect to energy. When you actually learn to listen to yourself, you learn to listen to your calling deeply, you learn to listen to who you are. And you can feel a bit lost doing that. It's like you want everybody to shine their light, to see to see like cats on the other side, not just cats on this side of the world, to, to, to shine, for everybody to shine like a diamond. In order to do that, um, Pisces, oh, sorry, I need to say pile. I do do pick a card readings on my other channel, Angel Dogs Tarot. So if any of you um, enjoy my readings and want to go and check out some extra kind of help, um, I've got hundreds there. It's funny that channel's never grown. So if, you're, if you'd like to help me grow that channel, that'd be amazing because it's about animal communication and it's really, it's very profoundly important. Animals have a lot of information they can share with us. Um, for you, what's going on here is that you're very grounded, you're very centered, you're very, very caring, you're very giving, you're very loving. You want to be able to take that energy and almost go and help other people find the romance of life, the joy of life again. But I think you don't really know how to do it. You don't really know how to find the right people to work with. You don't really know how you can nourish yourself financially. You know you can nourish the world with this Empress energy. You know that you can um, help people by explaining how they can help themselves but a lot of people just don't they, they kind of don't want to embrace that help like it's almost easier to be stuck in an energy of um feeling like you know having something to having something as an excuse to feel like life's not worthy like or oh, life's not good enough and you're just like no there's just so much more to it than that learn to listen to yourself learn to listen to how amazing you are so I'm getting this energy of um, you're not really quite sure what to do with these gifts. They're becoming stronger and stronger and stronger. There's no two ways about that. And you're making huge progress with your spiritual gifts, but it's almost like you're not sure how then to make progress in the material world, how to help other people feel good about themselves, how to communicate what you can do, how to help ground this Empress energy that comes through time and time and time again. I'm actually not sure we've had a reading where you haven't had Empress energy um, over the last I don't know, 45, 46 days since I've been doing these daily readings. I I you're I think you're struggling to know how to do something with this to help other people raise their vibration. Yeah. To help people listen to themselves, to listen to each other in a in a way that's actually giving somebody their your attention as opposed to, you know, I suspect Pisces, you're very good at listening, but people don't listen in return. You know, they're just they're trying to transmit and they're trying to transmit their life as opposed to actually being interested in each other. And you can see that and you understand it. And when people actually really tune into themselves and tune into other people properly, like really listen to what they're saying, um, then everybody raises their vibration. One trick I, I learned, because um, my friend was a journalist and I realized how closely she listened to me. She was actually active listening. Um I now play a movie screen on my mind of somebody else's life. So if somebody else is talking to me, I play a movie screen on my mind of what they might actually be going through. So I completely focus on what they're saying by actually 
visualizing what's happening to them so my so my own thoughts rarely come into it now it's something I trained myself to do because I really wanted to listen to people because I was given that gift by somebody else um but it's a really it's quite a it's quite a smart technique that makes your mind not kind of wander into your own story because you're focused on that other people's story by creating a movie screen for them. Okay, we've got The Cloak of Wisdom by Kathumi. You already know the answer you seek. Trust what you know. Oh, that's a bit cryptic. And we have got Mother Mary. Not surprised on that. Love and peace. Let go of the need to be right. Choose peace. Mother healing is possible at this time. I feel like we're seeking some help on how to um, take your gifts into the world and um, I'm not sure these are really helpful <laughs> it's like be at peace with yourself and allow your wisdom to come through but um, you know I'll put it to you angels as I'm reading this reading that on a human basis that's quite hard to do so we need some more help please We've got the Angel of Solitude, and I'm not surprised that card came through either. I'm going to put down a link below um, to a slightly disjointed reading that was on my other channel. But when I first discovered my guardian angel, this card was very um, uh, pertinent in that uh, sequence of events. Angel of Solitude and Angel of Challenges. I feel like this angel of solitude has come through to say, look, the angels are here. Like, I just want to remind everybody that you are being supported and helped. Um, somehow, somehow there's a, I feel like there's a communication issue. I feel like that you're very aware of the energetic connection, but it's like you've got so far and the angels have guided you or the energy's guided you. You've got so far and it's like, oh, well, now what <laughs> what do I do now don't just tell me to listen <laughs> what do I do now I want more help please <laughs> okay let's get some angel tarot okay under the two of swords we've got the queen of fire which is the queen of wands intelligent exuberant and determined With the Knight of Cups, we have got a wise counsellor, which is equivalent to the Hierophant, belonging, learning, and traditions. Queen of Pentacles, we've got the Three of Earth, talent, recognition, and collaboration. Transformation with the Empress, realisation, life change, and liberation. And with the Three of Cups, we've got the Four of car Fire, Prosperity, Contentment and Celebration. I am... Um... I'm I'm getting the energy that either either you need to go and seek someone to help you to be a sounding board to move forward or somebody's going to come to you. I, and I feel that in having I think you have to take action with the Queen of Fire late fire. Like with the two of swords and the Queen of Fire, I think you have to make the choice to to take an action because because ones are about action so to find the balance that you need i think that you need to take action to find somebody that you really enjoy being around that will help you um give you counsel give you support give you advice about what to do with your gifts um, you, 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 Pisces are heading towards the the category, the class of people who are going to end up being very wise teachers of um, a spiritual journey. There are so many ways that you can do that. You can do that just by talking to other people, by friends. You can do that through, you know, writing a book. You can do that through speaking to other people. You can actually be a actual teacher and go into classes and 
um, just teach from a from a spiritual perspective, not teach spirituality, but just teach with that energy of being connected. Um, so, you know, there's a myriad ways you can just be present in your connected energy when you're doing, you know, an, an office job that is maybe doing accounts, you know, but your energy is because you embody an energy that is calm and peace and love and joy that is effectively teaching other people just by being that way. So there's lots and lots of ways that that can happen. But I feel that that's an energy that the Pisces Collective is really spearheading a change in, which is moving to peace and compassion. So here, I think that you are either going to, somebody's going to come in with the Knight of Cups coming towards you, or you're going to go to somebody and offer, like, you know, like your your commitment, your courage to... um to communicate about what it is that you're needing help with and you're going to find somebody to help you. I think that's something that you kind of just need to find for yourself or somebody's going to find you. Um, take that as it resonates with the Queen of Fire here with the ones it feels like, well, actually it could be either way because if this is somebody else, then they could be approaching you or it could be that you want to do it. Like Two of Swords, you can make that decision. With the Queen of Pentacles here and the Three of Earth, it feels that you've got so much intellect to share. Um, how to how to use your gifts in a material way that you're 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 going to be recognised for this, or people are spotting your your capability. Um, with the Three of Earth, there's a there's a energy of creativity, of teamwork, of cooperation. Um, showing showing by doing how to help other people do things um helping other people ground that knowledge into their reality the empress energy and transformation i feel like you're 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 helping someone else or you're helping other people transform and with the three of cups here with partnership friendship community we've got people coming to you there's the four of fire is the 11 11 card it's prosperity it's contentment it can actually be romantic partners it can be it's definitely a card of stability so there's a there's a state there's a stability coming and with the transformation which is sudden sudden and unexpected change it's like you're going to actually feel able to help transform other people into that empress energy what i'm missing from here pisces and 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 you're maybe feeling it too. Um, you know, some of you might even be zoning out of this because I, I feel I feel there's something. There's just something that isn't shifting, and and this new it's like how do you do it? Finding somebody, who do you talk to? Where are they? Who is that person? Who are the people who don't invalidate what you say? Who are the people who have so much light and knowledge themselves that they actually know how to work with you and help you and know that love and peace is really important know that you know sometimes you have to cover your wisdom because people don't get it so i feel you're just being in this this period of like solitude of ha or certainly intellectual solitude or emotional solitude even if you're not you know you might be functioning in the external world in your normal way but internally there's this you know almost like hiding your capability in order to have peace um, in order to fit in but that's not serving you it's not growing you it's not it's not giving you the progress that you want you need progress you're challenged by the fact that you can't find progress now in the environment that you have you need something else you need a sounding board you need people who get you who can help move you forward some of you might find that on youtube through reading some of you might find that um you know you might find that through a group that you know already or you find but i really feel for many of you that you kind of need that help now it's like your next level of growth is going to come with um people who can help you figure out how to work with your talents who actually know how to listen who actually are interested they have a vibration that's high enough to help you raise yours further yeah okay here we go right we've got the king of water we have got the star we have got the six of fire. Wow, what a set of cards. We have got the three of water, the three of cups again. And we have got the four of earth, the four of pentacles. Pisces, it's time for your star to shine. 
we've got the king of water, which is it can be that somebody somebody is coming in with a cup of love. You know, if somebody feels so grounded in your energy that they want to come in with a cup of love and help you shine your star. It might just be that you kind of need to take ownership of that. You need to take ownership of what is going to make you feel love and balanced and topped up and fulfilled. Here, right in the center, we've got this, this, the six of fire. We've got success recognition. Like you're, you're destined for really, you're destined for really important things. You're destined for success. You're destined for recognition from any of your Pisces. You, if you feel like you resonate with that, you have a star, you are a guiding star to other people and that star is going to shine. And I think you need to feel confident in what that means for you and then allow your allow your emotions to lead you, allow your emotions to guide you and maybe allow your definitely allow your intuition to guide you um, to find. Uh, to seek out, I think, here. Well, you're going to be a guiding light for a community. There's no two ways about that. Um here we've got this person kind of sitting on their chest of um of money frugalness extravagance control i think you kind of need to open your mind and open your energy that your gifts your capability are actually really interesting to other people they will actually make you money it's like that you it's like an opening of the flow of allowing yourself to receive recognition, allow yourself to receive emotional help, allow yourself to receive a community who, who gets you, who wants to support you and, and allow yourself to actually just start to embrace your journey to be, to be successful in, in this energy at, at arena. You have so much wisdom to share. And I, I I think the challenge, I feel like the challenge that you have, Pisces, is that you, one, perhaps don't believe or realise how high your vibration is and how much you have to share, how much of this amazing source, this life source, this life force that you've harnessed and you can help and show other people how to harness. Um, It's like you've embraced the journey to the light You've embraced the journey of wanting to dance in the energy and the joy of of of, of energy. I'm just going to close those down a little bit, actually, because these cards are so beautiful. You embrace this eternal light of love and joy. And, and I feel like there's almost like an imposter syndrome going on in here, Pisces, about you feeling that you have the right to share, to share with other people how to access that perhaps because it's a journey that's quite new to you or you just kind of got there it's just like it is like you're a diamond you're an absolute diamond but I'm also I'm not getting a little red warning sign coming on here as well which is like who am I to be that diamond it's like well you've done the work you've done the work or you're doing the work and as you do more and more you're inspiring more and more people I think you're worried about being successful I think we've had that before. I really think you're worried about being successful because I don't think actually you really know what that means. And I think you're worried that you'll have people who rely on you too much, like who want to just take from your energy by being part of your community, but actually feeding themselves. And I think you're worried that you won't have somebody who gets you on a partnership basis. Um, and I think you're worried about, am I allowed to make money out of doing this? Okay. So the thing is here is just like the, the the more you make progress towards believing that you're worthy and um, what you have to share is really, really important, um, the more you'll just allow the flow of joy. There's something that's holding you back slightly at this point in time. And I think the angels are just going to come in and do something about it um, if you hold yourself back longer than you um, feel able to. But I think I just think you need a sounding board. I think you really, really, really need a sounding board who um, who wants to give of themselves to you without charging you know silly amounts of money or anything like that. You know, somebody who actually just wants to help you raise your star and shine your star because of everything that you can give to the world or everything that you you you're you're wanting to share and show in terms of love and peace. Okay, so how can we get some more information? Is that going to happen for Pisces? How's Pisces going to feel this success? How's Pisces going to actually 
feel able to shine their star with the start I can say that shine their star without feeling lonely and without feeling that um you know there isn't anyone on their journey with them at this point in time who really 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 gets it or who really just wants to be their be their emotional buddy because you're hiding yourself you're hiding yourself with the cloak of wisdom in order to just find peace with people who don't have the same energy capabilities you have so so what's really happening is that you're just feeling alone even though if you're in company um okay how does pisces overcome this challenge i know we've got this finding somebody as a sounding board but i, I this is a very personal journey so you kind of you really need a support team or at least a support person if you choose this path of helping other people move to joy and raising their vibration um you really really need somebody to help you Pisces that's what I'm getting here we've got the five of wands politics and ambition we have got the three of wands construction of the universe we have got ace of wands fertility and multiplicity we have got the nine of swords purification and protection and we have got the six of cups motivation lifts up those who are fallen and humiliated I, I just get from this, you just see a really, really clear way in how to make life better, easier, happier, you know, to take action, to do something differently, to 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 challenge the status quo, to challenge why everyone is so challenging to themselves, to to remove the need to be so um, to be so critical to each other. And to, um, you know, to embrace more joy and harmony. I, I think you just get it in a way that other people don't get it. And I think, um, I think there's a burning energy inside of you that almost can't not do something with this Pisces. It's like you can't. You see the world in a different way. Pisces energy is visionary. Pisces energy sees the world in a different way. Pisces energy sees how how things could be better. How things could be how things could be more progressive. I think there's an invitation for you to try to lay out some of the ideas, maybe even write down some of the ideas that you have about how to how to help people move forward, how to help people find more joy. Um, what is it what is it that you want to do? What is it how are you going to how how can you perceive yourself doing this? You know, do you want to write a book in which case what would it be have? Do you want to um create some courses? Do you want to find a community in which case what do they look like? I think there's an invitation here just to just to spend actually some time really contemplating this. What does this really really mean for you? What does success what success do you want to have? How 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 would that make you feel topped up? How would you be able to how would you be able to do things and still maintain a lot of joy for yourself? Because other people's energy can be very draining, but we've, you've got all this energy that you want to experience joy with. Um, you know, who do you want to come in and help you? What do they look like? What are they going to help with for you? So I think there's an invitation here to be really specific, right? Be really specific about what do you want to achieve and how do you want to achieve that? Or well, not necessarily how, but how do you want to feel and and what is it that you want? What does success look like for you? And and that can be financially. It can be in terms of who you have around you. It can be about how your light is shining in the star in in the sky. You know what does success stardom look like for you? How famous do you want to be or not be? You know, just be really clear about that. Um, and um, what what sort of romantic connections do you want? What what emotional fulfillment do you want from? A partner or people who are close to you I think actually just spending some time this is where I think we're going it's like while you're sitting in this solitude and not sure who to talk to 
you find love and peace for yourself, but you put yourself out into the world and, and, and you're worried that you're not going to have love and peace. Define what it is that love and peace will be like for you as you put yourself out into the world. What is it here? What is it you want to solve? And how do you want to feel by solving it? How 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 much does success, what does success actually mean to you? And how how big a shining star do you want to be? You know, do you want to be one of the biggest thought leaders in the world or do you just want not just or do you want to be because everything's important do you want to be a um just a, a person who embodies compassion and peace and joy and just spreads that wherever you go because you bump into people and that's how you turn out you know there's 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 a whole range of how you can embody that so i think that the really important thing is like where's where's what's the level of your ambition in this and how do you want to have a community around you how do you want them to interact with you because that then becomes down to your your boundaries as well it's like you can you can interact with me on these terms. You know, I really want to build a community. Um, that's really lovely, but it's it's not a community that is okay for you to come along and just talk about yourself and drain me. You know, you, you have to be interested in me too. That that's the sort of thing I think that is really an invitation in here. Okay, Pisces, I think that's probably today's message. It's 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 another deep one. It's very much about you. It's very much about the fact that we've got this full moon energy. We're right in right in the you know we're in the 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 power the powerhouse of shifting transformational energy that's going on in here and as the universe brings you shifts and transformations because it had that transformation in here um spend some time as you find this reading the energy will be embedded in it embodied in it because the this full moon eclipse is literally happening as i speak what are we yeah we're 10 minutes until it and until the peak of it um until the peak of full moon um, so that energy is embodied in here. It's good for whenever you find it. Harness that energy and write your write your future. Okay. Write your future. Because if you're feeling like a lost child, we've got this lost child and solitude energy going on in here. But actually, what we want is to harness this, which is like, you know, let's challenge yourself to understand what your challenges are and then start to make progress again. And, and this is all just saying that, that you have just this incredible angelic support around you because you're really, really reading and tuning into the energy now. Okay, so we've got a heart chakra just to finish off a couple of affirmations from the angels. Heart chakra, oh, I need my glasses for that. It's pale writing on blue. Love is the heart of the matter. Your heart is the center within your physical being, attuned most to love. It is safe for you to love and be loved with an open heart as we stand by with perfect protection and guidance. Yeah, some of you might be afraid of love. You might be afraid of being loved if you've been hurt in the past. Um, you know, and I get that. Um, and when you want to open your heart to love again, it's quite a scary thing to do. New partner. <laughs> well, there we go. Okay, a chance meeting is no mistake. It is the divinely orchestrated as a catalyst to set the wheels in motion for the fruition of your prayers. Pay careful attention to new people we send into your life you will recognize them by your sense of familiarity, comfort, and safety. Okay, Pisces, there it is. Last card of today. If any of you are needing a new partner, and this could just be a partner to help you with, like to counsel you, to guide you. Um, it doesn't have to be a new romantic partner. Um, but as you open your heart to receive new people into your life, new people here are hand on heart wanting to come to you. Okay, compassionate, trustworthy, and understanding people are being sent your way by um, by the angels, because I think you're at this stage where you're really you're needing you're needing help, support, guidance to make progress, and the angels are there to tune in when you meditate and tune in. You'll get there, but I think I I, I just get the feeling, the sense. I know I do. I really, really do. Um, personally need that uh, connection to somebody who's just got the wisdom and the, and the and the support to help and guide my next phase of my growth so I'm a Pisces these readings are very very relevant to me as well um, you know to have the sounding board the person the partner whether it's a romantic partner or a wise counsellor or even better both or maybe even more wrapped up into one who who doesn't make you feel like you have to hide your wisdom they're actually fascinated by your wisdom. They're fascinated by what you have to say. They're fascinated by your desire to spread love and peace. And they want to help you do that because they can see the joy that that brings you. And they they, they see how, how you want to help other people have a really, really good time, like to listen deeply, to raise their vibrations. So 
new partners being sent in be really really clear what you want pisces with this you know your your star is shining you're you're on your way up to something your vibration is rising higher and faster than a lot of people around you um and um allow yourself to receive allow you open this open this quaffer open open this open this box of gold and allow yourself to receive money um allow yourself to receive a community and allow yourself to receive help time to open that heart and receive okay pisces i'm gonna leave it there take care bye